All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's Tragic Life here with Pokemon Yellow. We are in the Rocket, Team Rocket uh, hideout, and we just went all the way through it and went to the elevator and opened it, and we're going to go into Ford. We're going to go forward and beat this, so not another step, Brat. How dare you humiliate, humiliate us at Mount Moon? It's payback time, you brat. Alright. So apparently this is only a fight in yellow. You don't get this fight in red and blue. Uh, can you turn... Uh, that was my TV. It's a little loud. Okay, coughing is good night. Okay, um, we're gonna bring out Graveler. Apparently, they say that uh, you can get poisoned here. That's where there could be a problem, paralysis. And um, apparently, Meowth is only weak to fighting type moves. I mean, I'm not seeing a problem here, but whatever. What do I know? Okay, I'm about to use Econ. Now, if Econ wraps you, it could be dangerous. Yeah, I don't think you can poison a rock. As I get poisoned. Well, that kind of sucked. All right. Such a dreadful twerp. I don't call me a twerp. I don't really know what... Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again. Okay, cool. Do I have anything to... I do. I'm going to do something stupid. Only because I don't have room for stuff, so... Alright. We're going to go ahead and move our Pokemon into places they should be. I think we're good. Yeah. No, we're not. Okay, we're good now. All right. So we're not done, but they, okay. We're going to head west. Found iron. I don't really know what iron does. Um, let's see. What does iron do? Um... Increases Pokemon defense. Uh, okay, that's what it does. I don't know who to give that to, so. Um, yeah. uh, uh, okay, so I think at this point we're going to go this way. So in red and blue, you have two fights here. Um, I don't think we're going to get them here. You get a rocket. With Sandshrew, Econs, and Sand Slash, and then another one with Econ, Sandshrew, and Arbok. Um, but I don't think we get them in this. Instead, we get Giovanni. So before you fight him, look at the. So that's cool. Um, we may need it after. We'll see. I'm going to use the iron. On my Butterfree. Alright, so let's go ahead and fight Giovanni. 
Um, we get two different fights here. The only the difference that I see, let me see, um, is the last fight. That's it. Okay. So in red and blue, um, the last Pokemon you'll fight is a Kangaskhan. Not in this one. So, so I must say, I am impressed you got here. And he looks like a mob boss wannabe. Okay, Onyx might be a problem. Let's try Acid. Oh, that did nothing. He did. Okay, it doesn't hurt that much, but... Yeah, it smells like that. I'm gonna end up losing this fight. This isn't going very well. How did I miss a wrap? Oh my. Okay, I think we're gonna switch out to Graveler here because this is starting to become a problem. I'm gonna get hit. I know that is so long. This is what this is. All right, all right. Of course you did. Oh. He's gonna use a right horn. I'm gonna go and bring out my uh, weeping bell again. See if we can actually hurt the right horn. No. Oh, this is nightmarish. See what this does. Okay, I'm gonna hit him with a vine whip. See if that does any more damage. Okay, that was better. Charlie, chill, bro. Yes, dad's, dad can see you. Alright, so this is the big difference. We get a Persian. Um, the, in, in red and blue, it's a Kangaskhan, which has decent stats, three different type of normal moves. Um, it can't do much to rock Pokemon, but otherwise it's slow, sturdy attacker, which can take care of you, which you can take care of with any decent moves. Tweak to fighting type. In yellow, it's replaced by a Persian, another, no, another normal type Pokemon, which is much faster but also a little bit weaker than the Kangaskhan. Um, its moves aren't too much to worry about, but Screech will cause your defense to drop, which can become a problem. Uh, however, it's not going to survive very long. I didn't mean to do that. So we're going to try the Vine Whip, because that seemed to do well. I didn't mean to do that. What is the... Guard spec do. Uh, guard spec prevents a Pokemon stat stage from being decreased. So you can't you can't actually change their stats, which is something I don't do anyway. So that really has no effect on my gameplay. I'm at the point where I'm pretty sure Weeping Bell is no longer useful. So he might be the first one in this party to be uh, switched.
switched out. I don't know why I'm having a struggle with that, but okay. Okay. Probably gonna win the fight now. Yeah, that's it. Good night. Go to sleep. Defeated Giovanni. What? This cannot be. It is, though. I see that you raise Pokemon with utmost care. Childlike, you would never understand what I hope to achieve. I shall step aside this time. I hope we meet again. Okay, I got a self scope, but I, oh, I do have room for it. All right. So let's go ahead. I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay. So I got the self scope. All right. We got one more thing. To, one more thing to really do while we're here. We're gonna go to B1. Ding ding. And we got this guy right here. Are you lost, you little rat? Look, don't be rude. Calling people rats is just kind of weird, bro. All right, I got a grimer to uppercut. And, yeah. Super effective. Yeah, of course it is. All right, and go to bring out a coffee. Okay. And we're going to use our last dig on it. And good night, sir. Sleep tight. What do you got to say about that? Why? That's it? All right, dude. So that is the entirety of the rocket hideout. You can now get out. Um, so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to obviously go to Pokemon Center to heal my Pokemon. Um, if I remember correctly, it's just this way. I do not remember correctly. Is it up maybe? It is. We're also going to stop at the store and we're going to start moving stuff around. I'm gonna go ahead and put away some of my items. Um, I'm gonna definitely put away all the TMs I'm not using. Okay, so we're gonna deposit. I should sell those. Get rid of this. Oh, he's slow, I know. I don't think I need the lift key anymore because we're not going back to... Okay. What does the slip self-sculpt do? Uh, affects the true form of the ghost in Pokemon Tower. So, okay. Sure that'll matter in a bit. Alright, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go ahead and buy some stuff that cures poison, sleep, and paralysis. And then we're gonna head and go to the next gym. Let's see. Is there a picture of this town? There is not, so we're just gonna figure it out. Ah, well, we found it. I hear a squeaker. Oh. 
Really? Okay. Hi there, may I help you? Let's see. Uh, we have a lot of money. Okay, so this is the guy that sells the TM. We don't care about that. Okay, so... We got antidote. It says cure for sleep, right? We'll buy six of those. And then we'll buy six of these. I'm going to try to go ahead and knock out the gym while I've got you here. Take out the, the rocket hideout and the gym in one swing. That would be awesome, guys. Depends on how long the fights are, because I, like I said, if you've been paying attention to me playing this, I've never done this. So I'm assuming that's the gym there. In order to do that, you need cut, too. Uh, who has cut? Is it Miles? No. Gloom? Gloom has cut. So is this is our third or fourth gym. I don't remember, honestly. Ah. <laughs> this gym is great. It's full of women. Okay, dude. All right. So let's move forward. This should be the last. Hey, you are not allowed in here. I guess she's gonna try to make me leave. Bell Sprout against my weeping bell. Here, have some acid. For it not being very effective, it like took all of that person's life. Whip it. Whip it. Oh, okay, don't whip it again. Here's some more acid. Let's do let's lose use the one that's not effective. Not very effective as it passes out. Okay, so we're going to have a Weeping Bell versus a Weeping Bell. Um, will Acid work? It took half of your life. How is it not effective? I don't understand. Not very effective. Two hits and this thing just passed out. Good night. All right. What does last got to say? You're too rough. I mean, you started the fight. I don't want to hear it. I was minding my own business. I was getting bored. Not touching that. Okay. Is she doing the Egyptian? You know, walk like an Egyptian. Some of you are probably too young to know that. Showing my age. Let me guess, it's not very effective, but I killed her. I knocked her out with one hit, but it's not very effective. That's, make, that's so funny to me. Okay, so she's going to bring out a bell sprout. I might change Pokemon. I will not change Pokemon. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, wow.
All right, what's next? An Oddish. Another Oddish? Yeah. Sorry, guys. I mean, acid is making this fight very easy. Can you guess what our next one's gonna be? Did you guess Bellsprout? Bellsprout is a very popular plant in this gym. I, I apologize. I'm gonna go to whipping. I'm gonna save one of my po uh, poisons because this is gonna knock her out. Critical hit. My makeup. Uh, wow. So before we go anywhere, we're gonna go this way. Look at my grass Pokemon. They're so easy to raise. Beauty wants to fight. A bell sprout. Surprise, surprise. I'm sorry I keep yawning. It's funny, I don't think I don't think anything can hurt my weeping bell in here at the moment. They keep trying to poison me, that's not working, and every time they go to rat me, it misses. Another bell sprout. Like the fifth bell sprout we bought. Poison powder doesn't work on us. Oh, I need to quit yawning out. Sheesh. It's not very effective. Good night. What do you got to say? No. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so before going forward, we're going to go this side. Aren't you the peeping Tom? What the heck are you asking me? What? It's kind of an offensive question without any kind of evidence. Okay, so we got a Bulbasaur. Is this going to work against Bulbasaur? I'm going to go with yes. So I was a little worried about the Bulbasaur. They they actually have attack. All right. An Ivysaur. <sighs> okay. This one might be a fight. Nah. Maybe not. All right, Weaver Bell is level 31. I'm in shock. Okay, so.
Okay, so we're going to come up here. I'm not sure if this is a good idea. I gotta make sure I get the right one here because there's three people standing next to each other. Right, so we want this one. Welcome to Celadon Gym. I'm assuming it's the one that looks different. You better not underestimate girl power. So we got a cool trainer. She has a weeping bell. Upper cut. Ding 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 ding. Oh, level 31, dang, okay. I should have changed. Oh, I should, whoa, why is yours red? So, while you're fighting this lady, if her Pokemon fall below 10%, She's a hundred percent. She has a hundred percent chance of using a hyper potion. Um, we're not getting to see that because I'm knocking them out in one shot. That's not always going to happen. I'm going to switch over to Gloom. Let's see if Gloom can do it. All right. Okay, let's try let's see what cut does. I don't remember. And absorb just for the heck of it. Okay, so that was a waste of move. Got it. Oh, beat him. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and move you here. Move you here. And move you here. Got it. All right. Don't bring any bugs or fire Pokemon in here. I don't think I have any bug or... Fire Pokemon. I think I actually listened. That's a nice way to tell us your weakness. I wouldn't do that with most people, you know. Oddish goes down. That means she did. Does that mean the Oddish melted? All right. No, I'm gonna keep Gloom out. We're gonna have a Gloom versus Gloom fight. But I have cut. Let's see. Let's try acid. Oh. <laughs> I 
I mean, you're trying. I, I can't get mad at you for that. All right. Come on. Oh, you! All right, one more fight before we fight the gym leader. Pleased to meet you. My hobby is Pokemon training. Hey, you actually seem a lot nicer than everyone else. Huh. And execute. Okay, we haven't... This is her only Pokemon, so this one might be a little bit of a challenge. I'm not really sure. Maybe not. Okay. Uh oh. Let's go ahead and beat this gym. So what's the difference? Um, there's a lot of differences. In red and blue, she uses a level 29 Vic Victory Bill, um, a level 24 Tangela, and a level 29 Valpo. Um, in yellow, she only uses... Tangela, Weeping Bell, and a Gloom. She has a 50% chance of using a Super Potion on her active Pokemon if they fall below 10%. She can only use it once. Apparently, she's a lot harder on... Red and blue than yellow. Okay, for once. Hello, lovely. W lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. Oh, dear. I must have dozed off. Welcome. My name is Erica. I am the leader of Celadon Gym. I teach the art of flower arranging. My Pokemon are of the grass type. Oh, I'm sorry. I had no idea that you wished to challenge me. Very well, but I shall not lose. I don't know. Something about girl power and this being hippie and flower power style is kind of weird, but okay. All right, so she's going to send out a Tangela. Okay, we have seen a Tantua before. Hit it with acid. Okay, she missed her attack. Let's see if I miss mine. I do not. It's weird. It's super effective on her. However, it does the least damage of all the times I've used acid. That is funny. Hmm. Okay, so we're just going to go with Acid. It seemed to do the most. Her Constrict doesn't do much to me at all. Oh, she's got Bind too. Okay. Gloom grew to level 31. 
She's about to use a Weeping Will. I am going to change my Pokemon. I'm going to bring out my Butterfree. This might be a mistake. But life will go on, if it is. Okay. Acid was really lethal to my Butterfree. Got it. It was going to be lethal to my Pigeon. Yes. But not as bad. Okay. That was a little dangerous. Alright, her last Pokemon, a Gloom. No, nope, we're gonna keep what we got. We're gonna fly. Use fly. Alright, that should be it unless I miss. Alright, got it, got it, got it. Oh, I concede defeat. You are remarkably strong. I must confer you the Rainbow Badge. The Rainbow Badge will make Pokemon up to level 50 obey. It also allows Pokemon to use strength in and out of battle. Please also take this with you. TM21. Contains Mega Drain. Half the damage it inflicts is drained to heal your Pokemon. Alright, and that's it. We're, uh, let me go ahead and explain TM21, and then we're going to go ahead and get out of here um, and move on to the next video. So, TM21 is Mega Drain, and I explained it. It's unique and will be gone forever once it is used. It teaches Mega Drain, which deals damage and also restores the user's HP by half the damage inflicted to the opponent. Its 40 power is certainly underwhelming, but Mega Drain is one of the only two Grass-type TMs in the game. The other being the two-turn Solar Beam. Because of this, it is the most useful on Pokemon that lack any other options for getting fast dual-type Rock Ground Pokemon who take four times damage from this move. So, it is pretty decent. So, from here, I'm going to go ahead and head to Lavender Town. Um, I'm going to walk down Route 7. Um, but then we're going to head to Lavender Town, and then we're going to make sure we have the Silph Scope. Um... And we're going to be heading towards the Pokemon Tower. That's our next goal. So until next time, adios amigos.